Hi Pisces, welcome to your July reading. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you. We're gonna see what's going on for the next couple of weeks, what you guys can expect, what the vibes are like, anything you should look out for or be aware of. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know that you enjoy these readings and I'll give you more readings, Pisces. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information's in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for you for these next couple of weeks throughout July. What do my Pisceans need to know, look out for, or be aware of? Thank you so much. We have trust your path. If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? What's going on for Pisces? What do my Pisceans need to know, look out for, or be aware of? We also have transformation. Things are hap things are changing on a cellular level, deep healing. Give me one more for Pisces. Okay, um, nope, that's a stack. I'm not taking that. <laughs> One more for Pisces. Thank you so much. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Lumira is at the bottom creating heaven on earth. It's already happening. Oh, sorry, it's happening. This is a card that keeps showing up. I think this is like the sixth time throughout the last set of July readings that I've done. This has come out for so many signs. So like literally this whole collective shift this whole like you being here whoever's listening you're part of this energetic shift that is helping the world become a better place we all know life on earth is not easy there's a lot of challenges there's a lot of ups and downs <laughs> you could almost say that it's hell on earth <laughs> right but we're in the process humanity's going through this process of like literally even the crumbling right we're seeing this happen in society we're seeing this happen in our world we're seeing this happen on a collective scale on a grand scale on so many different ways um earth itself going through all these changes and then changes in humanity and changes in communities and changes in even on a, on, on a solo independent level we're seeing this happen independently within ourselves in our relationships but we're also seeing that happen on like a grand scale this is so interesting this is so wild so Pisces, you're part of this shift, you're part of this upbringing, you're part of this collective um, bringing forward positive energy, love, light, like you're part of this whole upbringing. And so um, these next few weeks, things are going to be a lot more fulfilling, a lot more positive, a lot more happier, lighter. But yeah, it's like you're really needing to trust the process. You are going through some deep ass healing transformation. It's uncomfortable. There's some things that you're needing to work through releasing, letting go. What are you still clinging on to Pisces? What are you still holding on to? What is it something like that, that you know you've been kind of struggling with or you know you've been kind of getting like triggered or you keep running into the same problem or the same cycle or the same situation? What are you still clinging on to that you know it's time to let go of or you know it's time to move on from or you know like you know what there's something here that you're continuing to release you're continuing to heal but there's still something that is like keeping you back or like holding you back but if you can just trust the process and trust yourself and have faith that you're in alignment and that you are supported what what would you do all right knowing that you're supported knowing that you have the ability to get to have to live whatever life that you want whatever you desire you can have it so what would that look like? What would that feel like? What would you do if you knew you could have it? If you knew by the end of the day, you're going to have that thing, that place, that job, that house, that person, fill in the blank of whatever the fuck you're looking for, wanting or searching or working towards. If you knew it was already yours, how would that make you feel? Because it is already yours. If you can imagine it, if you can already see it in your mind's eye, then it's already a possibility. It's already a timeline. It's just about shifting to that timeline, calling that into you know, fruition. It's going to take um, some time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take, you know, surrendering, releasing, but you're already doing the work. You're already doing it. So you're on the right track. You're already doing the most. Okay. There's just a little bit of releasing, but more of like, instead of focusing on what you need to release, right? Cause you're in this whole process, you're releasing, you're healing, you know, that you're going through this transformation on an energetic cellular level like it is powerful so instead of putting all your focus on like what do you still need to release what do you still need to let go let's kind of switch gears a little bit let's focus on the future let's focus on what do you want to move towards what do you want to have more of what do you want to have in your life what would fulfill you what would inspire you let's change the focus okay 
because some of you guys you're focusing way more on like the doomsday and what didn't work or you know what what you're still holding on to and you're putting so much focus onto that that it's like blinding you from all the other paths and all the other blessings and all the other good shit that's trying to come in so let's switch gears a little bit okay let's pull some animal cards let's see how you're embodying this energy throughout these next couple of weeks how you're showing up how you're feeling what the vibes are like more towards you as we're going through these changes you know doors are opening up for you lots of doors lots of opportunities for growth for expansion and for newness okay so let's see how you're showing up here in this energy show me clearly what's going on for pisces any insight was you guys for pisces over these next couple of weeks in july wow that was fast we have the cobra yeah you're going through some major learning curves this card comes out especially the people that are in your life or the people that are coming into your life or you are playing an important role in other people's lives you're creating this like chain reaction where it's like based off your actions based off who you are what you're doing what you're saying it's having an influence on those around you and also vice versa there's people around you that are having an influence on you that are here to help teach you to teach your soul to help you expand to help you learn so this card comes out when there's like a lot of learning curves there's lots of expansion and this can even be talking about like going back to school or you might be like studying or researching something or like learning about something or there's something that's like sparking your interest right if you knew that you were supported if you knew that you could like learn something or like there's something that maybe you want to like study or something you want to like do more of if you knew you could be supported you knew that like you could um develop these abilities or develop these skills and get really good at it what would you do right you have the tools it's just you got to pick up the tools you got to like get hands on get creative this is a fun energy though and this is also like kind of shedding the dead weight the old skins um hmm you know what and the image that i just got with the cobra i just gotta this is different cobras are different than rattlesnakes why did they, i got the image you know like a, a rattlesnake how they like when they have a warning they like shake their tail i know it's a different the cobras I, they don't do that right <laughs> i don't think so but for some reason in my mind's eye i seen like a snake like the rattlesnake so i'm like okay is, the, is maybe is there like a warning are you giving a warning or maybe you're telling someone a warning hmm all right that's just that's just an intuitive message what else is going on for pisces messages for pisces over the next couple of weeks we have the deer and the lion oh and what else we got the beaver okay you might be dealing with a leo lion to me always represents leo energy we are also going to be heading into leo season in a couple of weeks um, we do have quite a bit of leo energy upon us you're gearing up for something you're getting ready for some sort of big shift big shift in your responsibility big shift in your um in your work or your career or some sort of like wish or hope or dream that you have something that you you isn't quite in the work like it's in the works but it's not quite completed or finished or like you're in the process of something but i see you gaining stability i see you gaining speed traction momentum i see like things are really picking up for you although right now you might not be able to see it it's not so clear it's not so obvious but this is really showing growth this is really showing like something's taking off in these next few weeks so you're putting consistent effort into something towards yourself towards your career towards your goals you're gaining respect there's definitely something about you gaining respect having higher value stepping into a higher role or position there's a new beginning for you with the deer this is kind of like empress energy but this represents newness this represents new opportunities um new growth it's kind of like spring after after fall after winter everything kind of dies eyes down and kind of is just like hibernation mode this deer is like the sign of spring like spring is here like this new start this new cycle that you're gonna learn a lot you're gonna learn a lot but this is a brand new cycle for you a brand new era even like it's a big deal and you can handle it though like this is something that you're already really good at or something like in this new journey it's like you already have the ability to flourish and whatever way this applies for you but it could be about your work or your career okay you seem pretty serious about this too with the line this is a very like stern serious kind of hefty that's the word they gave me hefty um okay <laughs> you're not tolerating shit i see you sticking to the rules or the guidelines or the plans or some sort of like flow chart 
Okay, so you're sticking to the plans or you're sticking to the books or you're sticking to the rules or something like that. You're taking something very serious though. Like you're very committed. Whatever this is, this new journey, this new start that you are rushing into, it seems, or things that are really picking up, it seems like you're very committed to this and like you're determined to make this work or you're determined to really like stick it out. Um, all right, so let's let's put some tarot cards. Let's see how else this month is playing out for you. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus over the next couple of weeks. What can my Pisces expect? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Pisces over the next couple of weeks in July? What's going on for Pisces, please? What do my Pisces need to know, look out for, or be aware of? Show me clearly. Messages for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? We got the moon. Well, there's your energy coming out, Pisces. You're in your element, I see. So you're following and trusting your intuition. You're taking it just step by step. You're following just how you feel. You're kind of feeling things out, right? There's a lot of uncertainty in the air. There might be a little bit of discomfort. Again, you're going through some personal growth, some personal growth and development, some character development or whatever. Um, there are some things that you're needing to surrender to slash remove or release or kind of just like let go, loosen the grip. But as you're going through that, there's some, a lot of uncertainty. You don't know what the future holds. You don't know where this path is going to take you. There's like a lot of questions and there might be some concerns. Um, there may be a little bit of nerves. Um, you know, there's something that's just not set in stone at the moment, but you might even be trying to like flip over like all the stones, trying to get all the answers, seeking answers, seeking clarity on like what to do, how to go about this situation. Let's just get some more about this. But yeah, your intuition is trying to guide you. So really pay attention to that. You guys are extremely intuitive, so it won't lead you down the wrong path. That's a freaking fact. Um, maybe there's something about the full moon in Aquarius that will be early August so that's like August so we're jumping ahead of ourselves but there might be something around then where like whatever you might be trying to get clarity or answers on right now or you're trying to figure things out um you might be getting like answers or from now to the next full moon there's like a full circle moment or like you might be there might be some sort of breakthrough you can experience around then. Okay, Knight of Swords. Yeah, literally, I feel like Knight of Swords with the moon, there's some sort of, like, information coming in. Information, insight, new. Like, you're going to have more of the facts, more of the details, more of a clear understanding about what direction you're going to be taking or where things are headed. Again, you had uncertainty about the path or about some sort of direction or where things were going in a situation or relationship. You're getting the facts here. You're finding out the facts. You're even speaking the facts um but this is really again there's like a lot of quick fast-paced energy momentum is picking up for you it's very fast it's very quick um okay all right let's see what else is going on for pisces over these next few weeks what do my pisces need to know look out for or be aware of we have the five of pentacles all right and give me one more thank you with the king of swords reverse so maybe your judgment about something was a little bit off or you've been feeling a bit like detached disconnected cold um maybe you're not speaking to somebody at the moment could be a air sign uh, aquarius libra or gemini we have the nine of wands at the bottom along with strength ten of swords ouch and the eight of swords so i see oh and the devil yeah i see you're in your head about a situation could be about a love situation i just heard love triangle maybe that's for somebody out there the shoe fits the shoe fits but the the devil and the knight of cups it's almost like you're getting so like swamped with these emotions or feelings or could you be obsessing over someone or someone could be obsessing over you but we have the eight of swords with this combination it's like you're in your head over analyzing scared stressed nervous wreck like you know there's a situation that just you can't seem to get off your mind or there's someone who is thinking about you you can't get off their mind or they can't get you off their mind like someone is thinking heavily about a person about some sort of ending it's requiring a lot of strength to like push through it um it's it's really it's intense could be again we got leo energy out here there's like a leo that might be relevant or capricorn there could be someone with capricorn placements or leo placements but there's like a situation here where you're like in your head over analyzing stressing yourself out you feel really stuck in like just like the the pits the darkness the whole like eight of swords and the ten of swords you feel like you're stuck in this deep dark ditch and you feel like there's no way out or you feel like it's like it's a long freaking battle nine of wands nine of wands and strength like you're trying so hard to to push through and to not give up and just stay 
to stay consistent to not you just you're really trying to not like let this tear you down but at times it's hard at times you're like feeling stuck and you don't know what to do and five of pentacles just feeling the lack feeling the loss maybe the lack of support whether it be um financial support financial backing or support in your environment support in your relationship support in your like home or foundation or even your job you're lacking some sort of support and it seems like you're pretty pissed off by it king of swords in the reverse like you're definitely feeling confused uncertain your guard is up it feels like untrusting there's this untrusting energy um you maybe just again untrusting of yourself or untrusting of the direction or untrusting of where the situation's going or not seeing how things are going to get better you're like how are things going to get better i feel like i'm just doomed i feel like this is it like i'm telling you though pisces this is not the ending right if you this is not the ending you're getting your happy ending if you're not happy right now it's because it's not the end you're in the process of this transformation you're in this process of letting go and releasing and healing and you really although right now it's a mess it's a chaotic stressful scary uncomfortable mess you have to trust your path as best as you can it really feels like your faith is being tested and you're under a lot of pressure and you just you got to keep pushing through this as as difficult as it might be or as hard emotional intense you know you might need to really rely on people for support or you might have the tendency to like if with that five of pentacles in the king of swords reverse you might have the tendency to like push people away or be like emotionally um unavailable or like push people at a distance keep people at a distance because you don't want to like burden people with your problems or burden people with your emotions or your worries or your stresses but you can't go through this alone or it, it would be wise to not go through this alone it would be wise to really lean on your friends family lovers people for support if you don't have anyone in your personal life comment down below this is a community i know pisces y'all don't really comment too much there's like a couple of you shout out to those who do thank you for your love i see you i appreciate you but for those that just tune in maybe you're just like afraid a comment or you feel like you know you're just like lurking <laughs> just being a little quiet little mouse but you're like feeling lonely comment down below this is a community we don't judge each other we're here to uplift and support one another and like be there through these changes right life is hard as it is and like I, this is a safe place okay so i just want to say like this is a freaking safe place you can let your walls down you can let your hair down and you can just like calm whatever the fuck you're going through whatever you're afraid of we're here for each other this is a community to like support each other as we're going through all these life changes so i'm just saying pisces you're not alone and if, if you got no no support or no community uh, in your own personal life this is your community you're now part of this so here you are all right so anyways just i think that you could probably benefit from a little bit of like support love reassurance it does not make you weak it does not make you um i don't know just like if, especially if you're self-critical over that like you're like oh no i'm like a, i'm good on my own i don't need nobody right lone wolf vibes it's like you know learning to be a little bit more like uh, i don't know whatever you get what i'm saying though you get what i'm saying for those that resonate with this you know what i'm saying so let's do a little bit of clarifying i don't want to spend too too much time clarifying but let's just see like um let's see how you're gonna get out of this situation let's look into the moon and then i'll look into the knight of swords and see what action you're taking um, I'm not going to really put too much focus on like what do you feel stuck in or what's this ending or what's this anxiety or what's these fears like I'm not going to I'm not going to waste our time looking into that let's get into the moon what is your intuition trying to tell you and the knight of swords of like what's this information coming in what's the solution what's the next step what's the plan to get out of this position okay we're gonna we're gonna do that okay just tell me about the moon for pisces over these next couple of weeks tell me about the moon why is the moon here what is pisces intuition trying to tell them or guide them or show them tell me about the moon for pisces sun moon eyes and venus that was me i'm not taking that tell me the moon for pisces over the next few weeks what can pisces expect we have the emperor i see you're going to be taking back control or getting things back in your hands taking matters back into your hands some of the moon you could be dealing with an aries or it's like you're embodying aries energy of being bold being courageous taking some sort of chance yeah i see you calling the shots here with the emperor to the ten of pentacles really starting to just get back into balance get back on track and feeling supported with the direction and where you're going and who's in your journey who's in your environment um could be also again applying to your work or some sort of structure or routine in your life 
where there's been lack of clarity you're going to be getting clarity about that high priestess there's your intuition coming out again so we have there's your energy pisces pisces vibes ace of pentacles is at the bottom with the knight of swords and the queen of wands so it seems like you're getting what you want or something that you've been wanting slash something that has been a long time coming is coming in here it's coming in quickly okay this ace of pentacles it's very slow paced right it's took a long ass time it's, it took a lot of time it's took a lot of patience and you've invested a lot into this path already finally here you go things are speeding up things are finally taking up like it's been a long freaking journey it's been a long wait but finally you're getting something that you want with the queen of wands to the knight of swords this is good news coming in you have good news coming in pisces all right and right now you might not be able to see it right high priestess right now you can kind of sense it you can kind of feel the ships coming you can kind of feel like a door is opening you can kind of sense it at the same time you don't know what's on the other side of this door you don't know what to expect but you know this door is finally unlocked it's finally unlocked and it leads to stability we go from the five of pentacles which is a card of like lack lack of support lack of finances loss struggle pretty hefty pretty nasty pretty challenging to then the ten of pentacles so there's a big shift you're going through a big shift where if you haven't been feeling supported or secure or safe that is all changing for you very very fast it happens very quickly like it's gonna blow your mind okay talk about this knight of swords let's get a little bit of info of this this uh news that's coming in talk about this knight of swords this information that pisces is finding out or getting or receiving a message a phone call what is this knight of swords what do my pisces need to know about this knight of swords why is the knight of swords here magician okay yes man with the plan is just what i heard talk about the knight of swords things are finally starting to fit things are starting to fall into place you know this magician kind of looks like he's putting all these puzzle pieces together so it feels like you finally found the missing piece you finally found the missing puzzle piece things are finally starting to connect or make sense or just the way that the timing of everything is all playing a important role now oh my gosh why did this card fly so far away we have the tower look at this scorpio energy the sequence of events that are taking place you may feel like everything is just up in the air and it's chaotic and it's scary and it's stressful but actually this is all serving a purpose everything is going according to plan <laughs> you may be like but this wasn't the plan or this wasn't what i had in mind this is what i prepared myself for or envisioned or asked for i didn't ask for this but spirit is just like yeah you don't ask for this but we knew that this is what you needed to, this is what was going to prepare you for what's to come there's a there's a shake up here as well tell me this knight of swords so whatever this information or news is it shakes things up let's see how how does it shake things up for pisces in what ways will things shake up in what ways will things move or progress tell me this knight of swords for pisces thank you so much we have the hangman it is literally beyond your control pisces there's not you can't do anything about this but just surrender <laughs> and trust but let's see what is this bringing a new perspective that's a fact where did it oh there it is all right um four of oh my god nice four of cups in the reverse this is this is good so at before you thought that there was a loss you didn't understand why was this happening this sucks this is lame this is not what i wanted you're now your perspective on something is shifting you're starting to see the blessing there's like a blessing in disguise and you're now seeing things in a new light in a new way and it's actually oh and for some this could be about love not a cups this might be about love this might be about a relationship we have justice the two of swords underneath and temperance you might have a decision to make about a potential uh relationship and um for some it could be about marriage or deep 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 commitment You're getting a fresh new perspective on this situation that you're dealing with that you were worried slash scared slash stress slash felt unsupported or felt like this wasn't working out or that it was a fail it's there's like a big shift of events or like there's a big turnaround you can expect a big turnaround in this situation where you're gonna be getting like the happy ending is there anything else we need to know about this knight of swords anything else about this knight of swords this is something that you were hoping praying for right hierophant you get a, you, you're getting you're getting some sort of commitment or an offer of some sort that is stable it's secure it's concrete you're getting the real deal you're getting the full package this is the full freaking package 
that you were wanting. It was a long time coming, literally, the Knight of Pentacles underneath at the bottom. This is a long time coming for you. You worked really hard, okay? You invested in this to get this position, to get this advancement. You're, you're getting some sort of advancement here. This might be, again, about your work, your money, your finances. For some, Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups, you may have had to threaten to, like, walk away or leave. Like, again, if this is about work, for some, if you maybe... You might be threatening to leave behind or like go search for another position somewhere else and maybe by you giving like an ultimatum it finally got you what you were wanting or like you finally got the i don't know that, that's a specific ass message but you may have given someone an ultimatum um and then you actually got what you wanted like you kind of demanded it or you're like i want this and if you're not going to give me this then i'm going to find it elsewhere and by you standing your ground you get what you want and it actually is like you get like okay wow okay it didn't have to be that hard it didn't have to be so complicated if i knew i would have gotten it i would have asked for this a lot sooner kind of like trust your path if you knew you'd be supported what would you do if you knew you could get what you want what would you ask for you if you knew that could be in your reach what would you receive what would you take what would you get like so yeah all you gotta do is ask or maybe all you gotta do is demand <laughs> and then you get what you want so you get a positive outcome here pisces i hope that this helps i hope that this you know grounds you and gives you reassurance that it's gonna work out for you even if it doesn't feel like it right now there's a big turnaround i promise you there's a big turnaround in your situation and it seems like a huge relief and you're gonna be really pleased with this so i'm gonna leave your reading here i hope this was helpful and insightful let me know if it was leave a like comment subscribe i appreciate you i hope you have an amazing day night evening when you listen to this i will talk to you in the next one pisces take it easy take care bye